Well, the White House unveiling a new round of stimulus proposals this week after saying that they weren't going to unveil another stimulus, including a big small business tax cut and daring the Republicans to oppose them on it. But Republicans are calling this a political show, saying there is no way these bills can be passed by November and are instead a political stunt. Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host, and Lars Larson is also a syndicated radio host. All right, panel, so, uh, you know, amazing that, you know, people are accusing both sides, really, of playing politics in advance of the election. But, Leslie, <laughs> you're the Democrat. You, you've defended the uh, Obama administration on stimulus in the past. What do you say? Is it possible that with pundits saying there's no way he can pass this before the elections, that this is really just a political stunt? Well, he can't pass it if Republicans aren't going to vote for it and blue dog Democrats aren't going to vote for it, which they're not going to because they need to do anything that puts the economy at a, a, it continues to have any kind of a standstill or makes the Democrats uh, look bad in this economic time. Quite frankly, left or right, it should not be about November. It should be about the people, the economy and jobs. And unfortunately, left and right with an election in November, uh, that's not happening. And this is nothing new, but it, it's sad that we, we don't learn from history. Does she have a point, Lars? You know that, that she's she's right. No. It, does it does it inure to the Republicans' benefit to have the president get this passed and have it start helping the economy? I mean, before the, the fact is. The Republicans want the economy to do well, and you know that, Megan. The fact is, is that the stimulus did not stimulate a year ago, and this thing isn't going to stimulate now. It's going to allow a lot of states that have spent too much money to back and fill some of their budgets, and we really ought to call it no union member left behind because an awful lot of the money goes to union jobs. The president's trying to use our own tax dollars to buy this election on a promise that, as you pointed out, can't be passed by the Congress anyway, and the fact is the Democrats have the votes. Leslie's right. The blue dogs are smart. They won't vote for it. Well, that suggests that it's a bad policy. The president says he gets treated like a dog. Well, in the case of this, this stimulus, that dog don't hunt. You know, it, it, the, the, the press secretary, Robert Gibbs, was asked about this uh, as a possible, possible political stunt earlier today at the White House press, press briefing. Let's take a listen to that exchange said a little while ago that we know what season we've entered in Washington. I assume you meant a political season uh, when not much gets done on Capitol Hill. So why then did the president wait until now to introduce these tax cut proposals for businesses well, that Republicans have been calling for for not just months but well, for then, years? Then we ought to be able to get this done pretty quickly. No. Mm -hmm, but he didn't answer the question, Leslie, which is why no. now? Why now? Why when the economy has been really hurting for you know, since he took office 18 months ago, uh, why now just, just eight weeks before the midterms does he come out with his proposal? Well, I'm glad that you mentioned 18 months ago because that's true. From the second he walked in, the economy was already bad. He inherited this, and it's not, as I said before, when it takes you uh, the better part of a decade to get to this point, it's not going to turn around in 18 months. The reason now is this is the American people are crying out, we need jobs, the stimulus isn't working, they're saying, and it is at a very slow pace, slower than what the government wanted, slower than what economists want, slower than what America wants, and America's very impatient. So yes, there is an election in November, but again, the, you know, they say, Mr. President, what are you going to do about this? What are you going to do because you're going to let the Bush tax cuts expire? This is the response, and it happens to be now, and yes, it happens to be a couple of months, uh, less than a couple of months before. Does an election. Lars, does Megan. that explain the timing? Make it. No, it doesn't, because here's the problem with that. The economy began to go south the minute the Democrats could, took control of Congress. Let's take that one all the way back to 07. That's when the economy went south. And the president came into office saying, I have the answers. Give me eight-tenths of a trillion dollars, and I'll keep unemployment below 8%. It didn't happen. And now that the president's realizing that having made that promise, he goes into this fall's election, is going to lose big in the Congress because he made promises that he couldn't fulfill. The, the idea that it hasn't worked for 18 months, we all know that. The president doesn't seem to understand that his stimulus policies don't work, and he needs to try something different instead of just another $350 billion worth of new stimulus. Leslie, this is, the, this is part of the feedback that the GOP gave in response to the president's um, unveiling of this plan. This is from John Boehner, who's the Republican leader in the House. If we've learned anything from the past 18 months, it's that we can't spend our way to prosperity. We don't need more government stimulus spending. We need to end Washington Democrats out of control spending spree. 
stop their tax hikes and create jobs by eliminating the job killing uncertainty that's hampering our small businesses. So, I mean, basically, it's the party line from the from the GOP again that this is basically just more spending in a year where we've already had enough spending, according to them, where we already have record deficits and record debts, and they've gone up enormously under President Obama, and they accuse him of basically bankrupting our children and our grandchildren, in this case, just to win an election. Oh, boy, I'm not going to have enough time for all of this, but one, <laughs> give the guy the four years. Two, if George Bush wasn't responsible for the economy being bad, Obama can't be responsible for making it good. We all know this is not about left or right. This is about a culmination of many things. Wall Street, historically, economies go up and down. Presidents either side of the aisle, Congress either side of the aisle, the American people and our spending habits. In addition, when we talk about John Boehner and other Republicans, I really find find it double talk to vote for spending in a bailout and then when there's stimulus oh that's not good spending but hey bailing out wall street that was okay cuz they write checks oh, to help our political oh. campaign quickly Lars I got to run Meg okay thank you very much no no I'm going to let you go just oh, keep oh, it quick great well you're right <laughs> Leslie's right there there aren't enough words to explain how badly this president has botched it the fact is marxist redistribution no. of people's wealth might work but the fact is is that you know respend spending the people's money on what the government thinks is smart is not going to rescue this economy good nice, nice and pithy and good panel debate back and forth we appreciate you both being here thanks Leslie Megan. and Lars all the best of both thanks Megan